Made of juncus and sumac plants, this exquisite treasure basket is more than 200 years old, and it has finally returned home, connecting Shumash past with Shumash present. The basket is just one of many treasures in the collection that the Santa Ynez Band of Shumash Indians is building for its cultural center and museum, a project that has been years in the making. 6.9 acres of land has been designated as the site for the museum directly across the street from the Santa Ynez Reservation. Over the past 12 years, the Bureau of Indian Affairs has twice approved the tribe's application to place this land into federal trust to make it part of the reservation. But local opponent groups have spent over $2 million to create long legal delays. Awaiting the day when it can build a museum on ancestral land, the tribe has been building a collection of artifacts and replications that will showcase the artful beauty of the Shumash people. Santa Ynez Shumash tribal member J.C. Romero is part of a 14-person museum advisory board. Our people have been here for thousands of years and it's going to be an, an eventful time for us to share our story with the community and visitors from maybe out of the country. Plans for the museum include sections designed to showcase the Shumash ritual life and daily life, traditional medicines, rock art, and dance and music, as well as areas for tribal events and a language lab. Among the collection are several intricately designed baskets that demonstrate the expert weaving techniques of the Shumash, techniques that were passed down from one generation to the next. Baskets were essential to Shumash life and had a number of uses including harvesting, storage, and cooking. Baskets even greeted newborns as their first cradle board. A key component of the museum will be the oral histories, which will allow the tribe to tell its story through its own voice. In my family, that's one thing that we did, is we learned about who we were. We learned about story, we learned about life, we learned about what these artifacts were all about. Oral history is part of who we are. Most of the things that we learn as Indian people is through oral history, and oral history is a very strong part of the Indian life, or Shumash life. The Shumash have been here almost 9,000 years. That's nearly 350 generations. There's no shortage of historical documentation about the Shumash, since they are considered among the most studied tribes in North America. Led by museum director Kathleen Conti, the tribe's museum advisory board visited a number of prestigious institutions across the U.S. to view impressive Shumash collections. Among them were the National Museum of American Indian at the Smithsonian, as well as Harvard, Yale, and the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History. J.C. remembers coming across one item in particular that had special meaning to her. The most significant item I found was a small crystal that I was told later on had been specifically from the Kalawashak village. And those crystals really were a part of our, our way of life, a part of our ways of natural elements that really guided us to who we are. And the medicine person at that time used those as a way of time to gather, a time for prayer and time for ceremony. And so the crystal was a very important part of that visit and uh, something I'll never forget. The hundreds of items collected thus far sit safely in a climate controlled room, awaiting their debut in the 15,000 square foot museum and cultural center. The Shumash Museum's vision is to promote understanding of the unique and diverse contemporary culture of the Santa Ynez Shumash and the ancient heritage of their ancestors, the first people of the region. The tribe is focused on developing collections that will convey the comprehensive story in a way that will engage, inspire, inform, and allow museum visitors to develop a passion for Shumash culture. The goal of the museum is going to be sharing our perspective of these items and artifacts that we're going to be able to bring home and share with the community. Survival, sustenance, loss and success, adaptability, all are wrapped up in the proud history of the Shumash culture. And someday, in the hopefully not too distant future, the Shumash will share this history in a museum built on the premise of embracing a culture. It will be a museum for the entire community to enjoy. I think the community will be um, proud.